Okay, guys, now you're going to put it all together. You have a background image from somewhere on Google Earth, and you've taken a picture of yourself. You've removed the background, and now you need to do something with it. Okay, so here's what you have to do. Minimum. You can always add some more. You have to decide where to put yourself on there. Uh, for this, I think I'm going to put down here so it looks like I'm almost like an actual picture. You know, I could go somewhere else and maybe put something in front of me, but right now I think I'm just going to do this. I'm sure you got lots of creative ideas. Uh, got to decide how big or small to make yourself look. I think I'm going to do that. Okay. So now, two things that you have to do after that. You need to insert a speech bubble and have yourself saying something. So if you go to the shape icon or button, click on it and go to call outs, then choose what type of speech bubble you want. Click on that. And now it looks like a target. I click drag. I can always change the size. And there we go. And I want that flip the other way. So I'm going to two finger touch and I'm going to rotate it, flip horizontally. There we go. Because I want it coming kind of like that. Uh, let's see, I want the outside outline to be black. So I'm going to click on this border color, make it black. And then next to border color is border weight. I want to make it thicker, maybe to four point. There, that shows up a little bit better. I can change the inside color too. Click on your speech bubble, paint can, and choose the color that you want it to be. I'm going to stick with that color. Maybe I'll go grayish. Okay, there we go. Now, um, select your speech bubble and tap two times on your mouse pad, touchpad, tap, tap. And look at that. There's a cursor. I can start typing. I think I'll say hello. Wish you were here. All right, and then you can change the size of that text and change the font if you want. All right, so once you have your speech bubble, then you need to also insert a transparent background image. You can do more than one. All right, so you're going to use the website that's on Google Classroom. The link and search. Let's see. I'm going to search brownie. Nothing for brownie. What? Okay, that's all right. Maybe I'll just do uh, candy. I can't believe there's no brownie. It's the worst website ever. All right. So let's see. <laughs> okay. Just for now, we'll go a little bit of cotton candy. I'm going to click and drag. Go over the tab, go down and drop it. You can also copy and paste. And now I got to get it in the right spot. So I'm going to rotate it. Oh, I think I want it going the other way. Who doesn't like cotton candy? That's a big hunk of cotton candy, though. I better shrink it up a little bit. I get a tummy ache. <laughs> Sticky hands. All right, something like that. So uh, have fun with it. Be creative. You can make it silly. You can make it uh, serious. Just make sure it's appropriate for school. Um, and you can always do another slide if you want just by clicking the plus sign and inserting the images of yourself uh, and some other images. Okay, have fun. Can't wait to see what you do. Go get them.